डेयर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ फार्मसी औषध निर्माण शास्त्र जग मे अपने सर्व स्वागत है सो टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी हाउ टू स्टडी द मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री का अभ्यास कशा पद्धति ने करावा हे अपन बहुत ओके सो फाइल स्टडी द मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री फर्स्ट यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड मीनिंग ऑफ एनी चैप्टर फॉर एक्जाम्पल इफ यू यू आर स्टडी द सैनिटिव एंड हिप्नोटिक्स देन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ सैनिटिव So sedatives, they are the drugs which decreases activity, excitement, and calms the patient without inducing sleep by acting on the central nervous system by depressing the central nervous system. Okay. So the first thing is starting la the chapter chal na vachi meaning. Tumara sabad li baje. What is meant by sedative? If you are studying antipsychotic, what is meant by antipsychotic? If you are studying the chapter antibiotics, you should understand what is meant by antibiotics. What is meant by anesthetic? What is meant by analgesic? Okay, so first you try to understand the meaning of that particular topic or meaning of a particular drugs. Okay, so while studying the medicinal chemistry, the most important point is the classification. Okay, and in medicinal chemistry, the classification, whatever classification is there, that is based on the chemical structure. Okay, ninety percent classification in medicinal chemistry. they are based on the chemical structure of the drugs okay so first point i studied the medicinal chemistry the most important point that is the classification of drugs okay classification of particular chapter okay that is important if you are studying the sedative and hypnotics then you should know the classification of sedative and hypnotic if you are studying the antibiotics then you should know the classification of antibiotics if you are studying the general anesthetic You should know the classification of general anesthetic. Okay, पहला सबसे महत्वपूर्ण point आये थे classification. Okay, then after classification, you should study the individual class. For example, sedative and hypnotics, they are classified into three classes. First class is barbiturates. Okay, second class is benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepines. Then third class is miscellaneous agents. in that various sub class are there okay so first point is the classification and after classification we study the one class okay first we study barbiturates then benzodiazepines then miscellaneous agents okay so why is total studying a particular class of drug for example you are studying the barbiturates then the most important thing is the chemistry and structure activity relationship of barbiturates okay after classification you should study the individual class in that important is chemistry of a particular class of drug and structure activity relationship okay structure sa ani activity sa kai sambandh hai okay there is a uh, effectiveness of any drug or pharmacological activity of any drug depends upon the chemical structure of that particular drug okay if we change one functional group or if we change a single alkyl group that results into loss in act loss in pharmacological activity or there is a increase in potency or there is a decrease in potency of drug so the activity of any compound depends upon its chemical structure depends upon each and every functional group okay so chemistry of drug is important then structure activity relationship sar means structure activity relationship स्ट्रक्चर का थर्ड पॉइंट यू शुड स्टडी द मेकनिजम ऑफ एक्शन मेकनिजम ऑफ एक्शन एमओई दैट इज मेकनिजम ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ ड्रग हाउ ड्रग एक्ट ओके हाउ ड्रग बाइंग टू पर्टिकुलर रिसेप्टर और सम ड्रग्स इनहिबिट द इंजाइम्स कहीं ड्रग रिसेप्टर पर बाइंड होता कहीं ड्रग पर्टिकुलर इंजाइम इनहिबिट करता एंटीबायोटिक्स सारे ड्रग माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम किल करता एंटी फंगल फंगाई लाइल करता ओके यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड द मेकनिजम हाउ पर्टिकुलर ड्रग एक्ट ओके सो फॉर एक्साम्पल सेटिक्स दिस ड्रग बाइंग टू ए गाबा रिसेप्टर इट ओपन द क्लोराइड चैनल्स एंड इट फाइनली कॉजेस द डिप्रेशन ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम और न्यूरोनल सेल्स आर डिप्रेस ओके सो लाइक दैट यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द मेकनिजम ऑफ एक्शन हाउ ड्रग्स एक्ट ओके first point is the classification second is chemistry and sar structure activity relationship of that drug okay 
particular class of drug. The mechanism of action, how drugs act at the molecular level. Okay. The fourth point, therapeutic uses. What is use of particular drug? Therapeutic uses. Okay. Yekade drug sa use kai, wapar kai hai. Kukla condition sati, kukla disease sati, kukla disorder sati apal particular drug use karto. Okay. So that is important point. Therapeutic uses. The next, after therapeutic uses, you should know the adverse effects. Adverse effects. Tell us adverse effects are the other kind of side effects. Adverse effects are side effects. Drug che dishpari naam kaya hai. Okay. That is the fifth point you should study in medicinal chemistry. Then, sixth point, you should study the ADME. That is absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion of particular drug. Okay. So, metabolism of drug is particularly important. Whether the drug is metabolized by oxidation, reduction or hydrolysis or glucoiranide conjugation or alkylation, okay, that is the important part. Okay, so this point should be studied in medicinal chemistry. That is, this is the sequence, how to study the medicinal chemistry. First is the classification, second is chemistry and SAR, structure activity relationship. Okay, here classification with example, not only the classification, but the classification with particular example. Then you should study the basic chemistry and structure activity relationship of drug. Then mechanism of action of drug, how drug acts at a molecular level. Then therapeutic uses of drug, then adverse effects of that drug. And ADME that is absorption, distribution and metabolism and excretion of that particular drug. So this is the way how to study the medicinal chemistry. So thank you all of you.